Hello world, this is Shiraj. Welcome to this channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the best and free video converter. So, let's get started. Here we have the website address. We'll hit the enter key. Here we have the website and here we have a couple of tabs and here we have features. Here we have the features tabs. Here we can get to know the bunch of features available in this handbrake software. And here we have uh, title, chapter, range selections. We can change the title and the range. And we can do the batch processing as well. We can have a chapter markers as well. If you're doing a video training or kind of uh, documentary, you can have these uh, chapter markings. And here we have another welcome features. We can manage the video quality as a constant or we can manage as average. And this will support as a VFR and CFR. With that, the video filter is also available. And we can have a live static and a video preview. So that will help you to before you convert the video and we can have some preview as well. With that, we'll move to the download steps. In this download steps, we have uh, the latest versions 1.3.3. This handbrake can be used in Macintosh OS, Windows, Linux and much more. I'm using Windows operating system, Windows 10. So we'll click on this download 64 bit. So I'm going to give the destinations where I want to save the file. So we'll click on save to download the software. Now the software is being downloaded. Here we have the basic information about the file. Now the software is downloaded. So we'll go to the folder. Here we have the software. We'll double click to install the software. We we'll click yes. And click next. Here we have the license agreement. We'll click next to go to the next wizard. And here we have to select the path that the software is going to be installed. And we'll click install. So I prefer these locations. That's fine. And we'll click install to install the software. That's fine. Very quick. And we'll click on the finish button. Here we have the software. We can double click and open the software here. Here we have file. We can use a single video. And here we have folder. If you want to convert more than one file, like uh, batch files, we can use this folder options. Otherwise, we can drag and drop a file or folder here. I have this video file. I want to convert this video file. So size of this file is 155 MB. Okay, 3 minutes and 34 seconds. So we'll drag and drop here. Okay, once you drag and drop, you will see the preview here. Okay, you can get the preview. The first one, second, like that, we can see all the previews here. In this video, I'm going to discuss some basic and important controls. Here we have help menu. We'll go to the help menu and here we have about and you can click on this about and you can see some basic information about this particular software. Here we have about handbrake. You can see this program is free software. You can redistribute it and modify it. So it's a completely a free software. And here we have updates. You can check the updates. Is the latest version is 1.3.3 and here we have advanced and you can uh, set some advanced controls over here and here we have video and we can set some encoding methods and decoding methods and here we have when done and when done do nothing okay that is a default setting otherwise you can set to shut down sleep hibernate and other options here we have output files. You can set the destinations where you want to save the files after the conversions. You can click on the browse button. You can set the default path. You want to save the output files. Here we have general and you can check this checkbox if you want to check the updates. Uh, if you want to have a frequent updates. And uh, we have more controls here. And here we have some controls related with this uh, themes and other minimize to tree and other advanced option okay that's fine we'll click on this back button we'll go to the software again and here we have uh, open source and you can click on this open source and you can add another file so you can click cancel here to come back and here we have add to queue if you want to process more than one file you can use this option or control here you can find the title here we have the the default title i have given for the file already and uh, here you can see save as here also you can uh, give a new file name okay hard disk done one or uh, you can give whatever name you want to convert here we have preset you can click on this preset so you can select uh, different presets by default it is in 1080p at 30 frames per second or you can convert to 
720p at 30 frames per second. Okay, I like to have this 720p. I don't want to have 1080p for this video. So I want to have 720p at 30 frames per second. In this step, you can set the size of the video. And here we have a filter, different controls we have, and you can check one by one. And here we have a video and we can set the quality here okay by default it is in 21 okay as per the preset okay if we are going to change this presets in 1080p and the quality will be changed here we have the log value this log value is determined by the presets already we have defined here if you increase this value the quality of the video will be reduced if you decrease this value log value the quality of the video will be increased when I change this preset to 720p at 30 frames per second, automatically the software finds the exact log value. But the suggested values are 18 to 20 for standard definition sources and 20 to 23 for high definition sources. Here you can set the FPS, you can set the different FPS value. And here we have the video codec and we can have a different codec. We'll go to the audio and here the audio bitrate is 160. Okay, it was in 256 and I like to reduce at 160. Okay, so let's leave as it is. And here we have the subtitle if you want to change or if you want to modify or if you want to add subtitle, you can add here as well. And you can add chapters as well in this step. Okay, that's fine. And here we have the preview button and we can click on this preview and we can see the preview here. Here you can see the preview of the video. And you can set different position. You can see the quality of the video. And if you are not satisfied, you can go back to the uh, software and you can set different presets and if different uh, log value to increase the quality further. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so these are the basic settings we have to do. Basically, there are some advanced settings as well. If you have any queries further, I'll be able to publish some videos on your queries. So that's all. We'll click on this start encode to encode. Here we can see encoding pass. The percentage is going on. And if you want to pause, we can pause this encoding. Or if you want to stop in the middle, we can click this button. In the meantime, here we have when done. Here we have do nothing. And here we also we can change the settings. For example, if you are converting a big size file like 4GB or 5GB or 8GB file, it will be taking enough time and you don't want to wait. You can ask the computer to shut down or turn off. And here we have a sleep and hibernate and lock system also available and log off. At the last, we have quit handbrake. So once the software has completed the task, automatically the software will exit. Here you can see these two files. Here we have the MP4 file before encoded. The file size is 155 MB. After encoding, the file size is 51.2 MB. So this file size is reduced dramatically and you can maintain the quality. So that is the beauty of this software. You don't want to pay any single penny. You can own this software as free and you can do many tasks. Now let's play these files and let's see the quality of these two videos. Here you can see these two files. The quality looks like same. Okay, here we have the original file, hard disk done mp4 and here we have the converted or encoded file and you can see these two different files video quality and almost look like same but we have reduced the file size. So you can see these two files the video quality look like same almost. Hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you love this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel, click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the ring bell. Then you will be get notified to my brand new videos. Thank you very much guys. We will meet in the next video. Bye.